Welcome to Figma Bytes, the video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. Today I want to share with you a secret family recipe called Smart Animate. This feature gives you the tools to polish your prototypes by automatically animating the changes between frames. Smart Animate is a powerful animation feature in Figma that allows us to create smooth transitions between frames or objects. It uses the element's position, size, rotation, style, and opacity to create these animations automatically. Here we have this shape in a frame. It's important to know that Figma also relies on the same object being in both frames in order for it to calculate the animations. Select this frame and press Command-D to make a duplicate. Now let's select this shape and make some changes to it in the new frame. Let's move it and change its size. Up in the top right panel, we want to make sure we're in the prototype tab. Now we can go back to our frames and create a connection between the frames by dragging the handle until it connects to the second frame. The Interaction Details menu pops up. In the Animation section of this menu, click Instant and select Smart Animate from the options. Now we can change our easing and duration if we'd like. I'm going to select Ease In and Out Back and keep the speed where it's at. Now we can head to the upper right corner of the top bar and press the play button. You can also use the shortcut Option Command Enter. This will open our prototype so that we can see the animated transition we just made. Click to see the animation. That seems easy enough, right? The most common way these get broken is through mismatched names. Let's rename one of these shapes to see what happens. When we go to view our prototype, Smart Animate no longer works. Next up, let's apply this feature to something a little more real. Most of us have likely seen a hamburger menu icon and a lot of the times, they have a fun transition between the three bars and the close icon. Let's create that. We'll start from this icon button that already has our shapes for the hamburger. Let's make a copy of this icon button. With the object selected, keep the mouse button down and press Option and drag the icon button over to the right. Now we can make our prototype connection and smart animation settings. Select the second icon button. Go back to the Design tab and change the background color using selection colors in the right panel. I'll select a slightly darker version of the existing color. Now I want the lines in the hamburger icon to magically rotate to create an X. To do this, I want all the bars to converge and then two of them will rotate to make the X. In our second icon, select the top bar and align it with the center one and rotate it 45 degrees. Do the same thing for the bottom one, but rotate it negative 45 degrees. Finally, select the last bar and shrink its width so that it hides inside the other bars. It's time to preview what we just made. Click the play button in the upper right and click again to see the animation. Fun! What if we wanted a little more control over that animation? Let's say we wanted the bars to meet in the middle before they rotated to make the X icon. Over here I've set up the same animation, but with two middle frames. These middle frames are set to navigate after a 1 millisecond delay. The reason for two is because you can only have one after delay interaction per object. If you're familiar with animation software, this essentially makes Smart Animate treat these frames like a keyframe. Preview this prototype and we can see that the animation now has our interstitial step of the bars coming together. Alright, our final example for this byte is how to build a page transition with a lot of changing elements. We have this mobile layout with some cards containing food items. When we click on a card, we want to make a delightful transition into the second frame. Animations are added at different times during a different projects. When we want to add Smart Animate between two screens that don't have a lot of shared elements, we'll have to do some prep by copying over the elements we need to transition in each one. If we view our prototype right now, you can see that things don't look half bad. That's because we use the same image container in both frames, so Figma knew how to treat them. Figma animated the scale, position, and border radius of our image container as it became the background of our second screen. Now we'll add a small transition to all the other cards. Select all the other cards, copy them, and paste them into our second frame. They should appear in the same place. Move each column over past the edge of the frame and change their opacity to 0%. Let's make sure our layers are in the order we want them. And preview the animation by heading back to our prototype and clicking the first card. Nice. Next. Let's make a sweet little transition for our text. We want it to fade in and move up into place. Copy our text from the second frame and paste it into the first. Move it down a bit and change the opacity to 0%. Hop back over to our prototype and click the tiramisu card again to preview the animation. And finally, let's make our close button spin into place. 
Make a copy of it and paste it into our first frame. Let's rotate it and move it out of frame. It's time to look at our final animation. Press the play button in the upper right corner. Look at that! A delightful, tasty transition between screens. That's how you transition elements smartly in Figma. I hope this Figma Byte helps you successfully sequester smart animations. Thanks for watching.